Welcome to part 3 of my tutorial on how to create a custom map in Crusader Kings 3. It's been a while, but I'm back. And in this part, as promised, I will teach you how to create localization files to give your uh, counties and kingdoms a proper name. I will teach you how to create history files so that at the start of the game there will be kingdoms uh, that contain duchies, that contain counties. And I will teach you how to create a paper map that um, can be seen when you zoom out of your, of your map. And uh, we're going to start with the localization files. So the localization folder isn't in your mod folder by default. So when you go to your mod folder, you see you have common events, GFX, history and map data and you don't have a localization folder. You're gonna have to copy that from your Crusader Kings 3 folder. You go into the games folder and there you see you have localization. You click cut and paste it in your mod folder like that. Okay, once you're done with that, you open a localization folder and you select English or whatever language you want to use. And to access your titles, you scroll down to titles i English, open it with Atom or with a text editor of your choice. And as you can see, you have the all the standard names for for all the counties and kingdoms in the standard game. So you don't need them. So you're just going to select them all. It's going to take a while, but <laughs> I'll come back to you when, when I'm done. So the reason I didn't press Ctrl and A is that I want to keep the stuff at the top just for reference. And yeah, now we're going to delete all of this. And for the second file, for reference, you're going to open your um blank map folder again go to common and go to your landed titles and open them as well right next to our localization file right here and now we can copy our titles like this county here and copy it into here then we're gonna press this and now we can paste a name in brackets. So if we want to name this uh, yeah, we do it like this, then we take our second county, copy it in to the next line, do the same thing again. Um, then we select our duchy, come on, copy it, paste it into here, and I don't know, something like that, and our kingdom as well. And our empire tier as well. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Switch to German there for a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we've got all that. And you have to do this with each and every one of your um, counties and titles you want to, to be shown in the game. The Baronies or the provinces don't really show up in the game. If you want to rename them as well, you can do that just uh, like you renamed the other ones, but I will I, I won't do that for now. We're just gonna hit file save. Okay, so now we're in the game. We are zooming in, as you can see we have Yeah, we have boy 
and uh, this is yeah as well because we are looking at the duchies at the moment um if we go to our this is our duchy stam our kingdom is my god and our empire is y excess <laughs> so as you can see this worked and the next thing we are going to try is to make it work that when we join the game we can select the duchy of dam to start with right now we can only select the counties and we can later create a duchy in the game but we want this to be a duchy or even to be a kingdom right now so we are going to do this in the files so to do this we go on a blank map folder we click on history and there we click on titles now all of these we don't need so we can select those and just delete them okay so my recording software stopped before I noticed and uh, because of that I already did a few steps now but I can explain them to you after you deleted those files you're gonna open the ktest file and it's gonna look a little bit diff different than this because I already changed a few things but that's not that bad um, and aside to that we are going to open our lender titles file again right next to it and now in your file you're going to see a k underscore test and this is the kingdom that you want to be shown in the game at the start of the game so in order to do this we are going to copy this from our landed titles the name of our kingdom tier and paste it right here i've already done this as you can see and you're going to, to do this, the same thing with your duchy that is in your kingdom and with your counties that are in your duchy in the template there's another duchy inside the kingdom as it would make sense I deleted this for demonstration purposes because we only have one duchy in this tutorial but if you have more than one duchy in your kingdom you can obviously just um, leave it like it is and paste your names as well and this date demonstrates the date the kingdom was held by this character and you can assign a character ID here if you want to, if you have a custom character. Um, I might make a video on this in the future on how to create custom characters, but for now we're gonna leave it like it is. And basically we tell our game that at the start of the game there's a kingdom which has a duchy in it, which has two counties in it, and there is a king above the, the dutch and uh, the count that you can select from the game start so we're going to hit save close this and basically and go back to history titles and now we're going to rename this to our kingdom name kingdom underscore tier obviously you will have chosen a different name for your kingdom I imagine and now we're going to take a look at this. And once in the game, as you can see, we have the My God Kingdom with King Test of My God, um, with obviously a test character right now. And in the kingdom, there are there's this duchy. We only have one in the duchy. There are oh, we can see our counties. Counties. We have these two counties, and um, yeah, they are under the reign of this king, King Test. So this is how you create your history files to create big empires from the start on. Obviously, we didn't create an empire right here, but our king would be able to create an empire of the name y y x e s s. 
and one thing to the color scheme of your map. Your kingdoms and counties and duchies can have custom colors. I explained that in the first video, I think, and I'm keeping it very simple for demonstration purposes. But obviously, uh, I'd encourage you to spend a little bit, a little bit more detail on your maps. Okay, so now to the last part of the video where, where I'll explain to you how to create the paper map that will be displayed right here. Obviously right now it's not looking that good. So once again we are back in Photoshop and we have opened our map PSD from our map data folder. And inside this PSD file we have the two layers, the background and our land mass. And this is gonna come handy again. So the size of the image is already perfect for the blank, uh, for the flat map or the paper map as you want to call it. And basically this is just a question of the aesthetics. Um, if you want your background, uh, first of all, because we, first of all, because uh, we do have grayscale enabled, we're going to switch that to RGB color and select don't merge. And now we can yeah, select a color we want the water to be displayed in as. Um, yeah, basically for this, you can just either change it to blue or select something like gray or something. I'm, I think I'm going to go with the dark. Oh, let's, let's, let's take it like blue, like this. Select a bucket and just fill that in. Perfect. And you can be very, very um, creative with the water and spend a lot of time designing it, but I'm not doing that right now. And the landmass layer, um, we uh, double click it, go on color overlay and basically select the color we want uh, the landmass to have like, I don't know, something like that. Green doesn't look that good. Let's select a neutral color like this, for example. So that's basically it. And now we're going to hit save as a copy and select PNG and uh, save it wherever you want. For now, we're going to save it to the location of the uh, map data. Map copy, that's fine as it is. Hit save, largest file size. And now for it to be shown up in the game, we are going to blank map, GFX, map, terrain, and open the flat map in paint.net because it, it is a DDS file. And this is the current blank map we have. And now we're going to select our created image, map copy, and basically drag it into here. It's German now. Just add a layer like this. So that's perfectly fine. And now we're going to hit save and save it as a DDS, flat map, save, replace, leave it like it is, hit OK, merge the layers and you're good to go. Let's close, uh, let's don't close this and test it first. Back in the game, as you can see, it worked out quite well. This is not that beautiful, but yeah, you can spend a lot of time designing it and it is quite much better than the original we had before. And yeah, when you zoom out now, you have an pro a proper map. And um, this is going to be it for the second part of, for the third part of the tutorial. Sorry to keep you waiting it for so long but I've got quite a lot going on myself and 
if you have any suggestions for things that I could um, that I could take care of in the next part of the tutorial, please leave them in the comments below as I'm quite out of ideas uh, on what you guys need help on. Okay, uh, that's it from me and thanks for watching. Until the next time, consider subscribing if you want.